imagine dark labyrinths deep deep. Underground they're full of hidden. Dangers and unexpected. Discoveries get your flashlight and let. Me take you on a tour of the spookiest. Caves of all. Time and the first destination on our. List is Cathedral Caverns in. Alabama originally this place was called. Batcave but it was later renamed because. Of what it looks like as you approach it. You can't help but notice it's huge. Entrance measuring 126 feet wide and 25 feet. Hi but this grand entrance is just the. Beginning inside the cave there are some. Of the most beautiful formations nature. Has ever. Created one of the most famous of them. Is probably Goliath a giant 45 foot tall. Stalagmite with a circumference of 243. Ft other amazing sites you might want to. Visit include a caveman balancing on top. Of a flowstone wall a frozen waterfall. In a forest of tall stalagmites, you're probably curious how did such an exciting place make it onto the list of the scariest caves out there? The thing is, the sheer size of the cave is still unknown, and only about two miles of it are mapped and open to the public. But the cave cannon does show its dangerous side from time to time. For example, the directors of the 1984 sci fi. Movie What Waits Below filmed a lot of scenes in cathedral caverns, but during the shooting, 17 cast and crew members got carbon monoxide poisoning and had to be immediately taken to a hospital, barely avoiding serious consequences. But let's move further to Moaning Cavern in California. What makes it particular? L. Creepy is the bizarre breathing sound. It's produced by water dripping through bottle-like openings at the base of the cave if a person who's unaware of the nature of this breathing comes close. This ominous respiration might cause them to steer clear of the place on the other hand these moaning sounds might have evoked curiosity in some adventurous souls and usually it didn't end well researchers have found the remains of more than 100 prehistoric people who fell down the caves 410t chasm around 13,000 years ago these days you can go on a tour around the cave but no deeper than 165 ft into the vertical opening if you're feeling particularly bold you can repel down but you'll still have to exit using a gothic looking wrought iron staircase b Careful not to slip its AL long way. Down the next cave we'll visit is. Ominously called Hellhole you can find. It in West. Virginia it's notorious enough to. Inspire a few horror. Movies despite its name the place is. Chilly but no less creepy for this. Discrepancy the average temperature. Inside the cave is 47 degrees Fahrenheit which makes it. The perfect home for a large variety of bats and other rare cave dwelling inhabitants. In fact, in the winter, the cave accommodates about half of the world's population of Virginia big eared bats. These are critically endangered and highly vulnerable creatures, but it won't stop a chill from running down your spine once you see a cloud of 20,000 squeaking wing fluttering bats bell which cave is a relatively small formation located in tennessee and despite its innocent appearance it serves as the focal point for an equally fantastic and terrifying story according to the legend in the early part of the 19th century the farmer and his family suffered from the mischief of a ghost it made a lot of noise at night ripped sheets from beds and even physically attacked the farmer and some of his family. Members eventually the farmer passed away in a vial with unknown black. Liquid was found next to him some people believe that the ghost had somehow poisoned him soon after that the spirit left the farmer's family. Alone locals were sure the ghost had returned to a cave near the farm they 
also believed the mystical creature promised to return when the time was right even today local inhabitants report strange occurrences happening around the cave they swear they are linked to the ghost once taunting the farmer's family family i bet that no matter how skeptical you are the cave will make your skin crawl and this is wind cave in south dakota at first glance it might seem that there's nothing super scary about this cavern no roiling mass of bats no ancient remains or toxic gases but the cave is home to a blood chilling and very rare geological feature nowhere else in the world will you find a more extensive network of boxwork kalite how did wind cave create the perfect conditions for the boxwork remains it's still a mystery but what you do notice is that this boxwork resembles a massive spider web a bit too much for comfort even though it's just a geological anomaly it's hard to look at the box work and not imagine tons of cave spiders skittering along those thin strands of hardened minerals now let me take you to a place that seems to be out of this world there's nothing mysterious or dangerous about this place but it's kind of unique life inside this cave has been isolated from the outside world for about five and a half million years and it does show c4 yourself because of such long isolation the conditions inside mobile cave are like nowhere else in the world despite a severe lack of sunlight inside the cave and the toxicity of the air a unique ecosystem is flourishing there the cave is located a few miles west of the black sea in romania and it was first found in 1986 these days you can only visit it if you have special permission but even if you have it the central caverns are guarded naturally by super narrow limestone tunnels and vertical shafts so those who are familiar with claustrophobia shouldn't enter this place in the depth of the cave the air has twice less oxygen than the air outside it contains a lot of carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide which means it's not the freshest air you can breathe it's also pitch black inside the cavern but despite or should i say thanks to this cocktail of extremely harsh conditions the site is a true gold mine for biologists life seems to be booming here in a 1996 study scientists identified 48 species living there 33 of them are unique to the cave most of the creatures inhabiting the cave are tiny they have long limbs and antennae helping them navigate in the dark they also have no vision and lack pigment which makes sense why would you need to be able to see if you live in total darkness and why would you need to be pretty and colorful with no one to see you now get ready to explore one more cave no less amazing but very different this is the giant crystal cave aka cave of the crystals in mexico these massive crystals were found in 2000 by a mining company after the water was pumped out of the cave too miners then entered the drying cave on foot and saw the crystals these a inspiring crystals are actually massive gypsum pillars hidden 984 feet underground scientists estimate that the crystals could have been already growing for half a million years that's why many of them are so long and wide that you can walk across them unfortunately visiting this wonder of nature is impossible at the moment but maybe it's for the better since giant crystal cave is a dangerous place that can easily turn turn into a trap for tens of thousands of years it was filled with groundwater which was originally pushed upward into the opening by a magma chamber located in the depths of our planet the magma under the cave kept the water hot but eventually the temperature of the water dipped below 136 degrees 
F as a result the water started to fill with calcium and sulfate whose particles began to recombine into gypsum and then white tinted crystals took over the cave and since they stayed underwater they were able to keep growing that's it for today so hey if you pacified your curiosity then give the video a like and share it with your friends or if you want more just click on these videos and stay on the bright.